All right, I made it to the final lake for the day. It took about three and a half, four hours to get here. But because of that, the fishing should be pretty good. I just got to the end of this portage and this brook runs in into this little pool. I might see if there's a brook trail right here. I think I'm gonna go with a home tied woolly bugger. The orange bead head with the black body seems to work really well here in Nova Scotia. All right, let's see what we can do. The fish are still a little sluggish, so I'm gonna try to work the seams and use this woolly bugger very slowly and let it drift through the current. First fish of the year, just a little guy. Oh. oh, guys, this is gonna be a good freaking weekend. They're hungry for the bugger. I like to see. After that first little fishing hole, I'm super optimistic for the fishing this weekend. If that place was working, I have extremely high hopes for the spot we're going next. I was originally gonna camp on the bottom of this lake here, but it looks very flooded. There's a lot of garbage from whoever was here last, which is so stupid. I don't know why people come out into the woods and leave their garbage. It seems like such a simple concept to take your garbage out with you. I absolutely don't get it. I might move inland a bit and see what my options are that way. Don't believe it. Well, you saw it. There's just maybe four or five rising every couple of minutes. I'm tempted to put on a dry fly. I'm getting so anxious. Oh. There's this bug flying around that I haven't actually been able to grab yet, but it looks like it has um, gray wings and a, um, a black body. So I'm gonna go with a Griffith's gnat, size 12 or 14. Oh. It's a stone fly. I'm gonna have a little bit of floating to make sure she stays on the surface. All right, let's do this. Let's freaking do this. I'm gonna try to be stealth and not spook them because they're pretty much right on shore there. Guys, they're all over the place, but they do not want my fly. They're very particular. I think I might have to go back to the, the woolly bugger and see if I can get them below the surface. Oh man, oh man, the fish love the woolly bugger. The fish love the woolly bugger. There we go. Oh, look how red he is. Oh my goodness gracious. Look how friggin' red this guy is. This is a test. I just dropped the camera 
into the creek. It didn't get fully submerged, but it definitely was sitting in wetness. I just got this camera too, and I think it'll be fine, but I felt like an idiot there. Let's catch another fish. I knew that was gonna happen. I just walked back a little beyond the pool and I found this really old fireplace and it's really close to that fishing hole. It's leeward, there's no garbage. This is the spot. Oh baby. Putting in a chimney rock in the back. Northwesterly winds are the prevailing winds here. So that just stop the wind from coming in. And I like having a uh, back rock to hold onto that heat when I'm cooking. That's pretty black. Now my prettiest meal. It's a little burnt, a little blackened. We got Brussels sprouts and bacon, stuffing with hand-picked cranberries and two wild Nova Scotia brook trout. That is really good. Doesn't look the best, but the flavor is there. And once you get past the burnt skin. I 
I always like to give it a couple of pumps because I do like it really firm. I'm a side sleeper and I need a sleeping mat that allows my shoulder to stay hovering above the ground surface. This is my favorite time of year. Based on how good the fishing has been so far, there's so many more fishing holes I want to check out tomorrow and the next day. Beyond this point right here is as far as I've gotten into this wilderness area. So it's going to be all new territory for me. I think the fishing is going to be unreal. I strategically got up before the sun so I could do all these chores before it started getting nice out. It's gonna be another epic day, 15 degrees, sun all day, and I can already tell the brook trout are rising. Today there's gonna to be a lot more portages, and a lot more lakes to explore, and a lot more fishing holes. It's gonna be another beautiful day. I'm thinking yesterday when I tried using the dry fly, my line was a little too thick, making the fly not look real. So I reduced my line size, and I'm going to use an extremely small Griffith's gnat. Oh no! And uh, it is gone. So I'm going to try that again. I have one more of those. I'm going to use a Griffith's gnat, size extremely small. I got one more. Let's see if this one will work. My hackle came off. I'm just about to pack up and head out for the day. But before I do, I was thinking about the garbage I saw yesterday. And it wouldn't be right if I didn't pick it up. If you're gonna complain about something, do something about it. So I'm back here, just gonna pick up that garbage and bring it out with me. First of three or four portages today. This is an old ATV trail that I'm on right now, so it's gonna be easy walking. Halfway done the portages-ish. We got another kilometer portage after this really small pond here. Just gonna have a quick bite to eat. It is 1.30 and I have two peanut butter J's. I could honestly eat one of these every day and be really happy. Call me a toddler, but peanut butter J's are my absolute favorite. Ooh, and I love when it goes through the bread like that. Oh yes.
the next portage, I'm leaving this ATV route, so it might be more of a bushwhack. You know what? It's really not that bad. There's a faint trail and that's all I need. Can't complain about something like this. It wasn't too bad at all. This looks like a decent spot for camping. The one thing though is the wind is coming off the lake and it might be a little windy at camp tonight. But I'm gonna let the fish decide. It looks sort of fishy here. And if I can catch a few, I might deal with the wind tonight just so I can camp in another fishy pool for the evening. So far, the trout are saying no. A couple more casts though, just for good luck. Oh! Ah, I don't know. All right guys, let's carry on. We don't have time to waste. I see the next portage, and it looks to be a flat spot. So I'm gonna go check that out. Oh yeah, we can make something work here. Yep. I bought this solo tent about a year ago. It's the Eureka Solitaire All. I got it off Amazon for like 120 bucks. So at the end of the day, it's only 120 bucks. I probably only used this about a dozen times. I've already ripped the sack, the stuff sack. I've ripped the peg sack as well. And also, one of the poles have already broke. It's split, and that's not a good thing. Luckily, I had tape and I was able to tape it up. Overall, it's a shoddy tent, but again, 120 bucks. What can you really ask for? Not too bad. They don't look that appetizing, but it looks somewhat cooked. All right, cheers. Dessert. <laughs> it's definitely not cooked in the middle. That was a failed experiment. I think that's a wrap for the day. I'm exhausted, that was a full on day. I probably traveled more than I filmed on the portages just cause it gets repetitive. But I had to do a lot of portaging today. The fishing was also awesome. The sun was strong and beautiful. But overall that combination, I'm absolutely beat. I'm gonna say good night to y'all and I'll see you tomorrow.
slept pretty well. Other than there was like a bump and it was right on my lower back. So it was sort of like I was in the sphinx position last night, if you guys know yoga, but reverse. Slept in a bit. I don't know what time it is. Looks like it's gonna be an overcast day. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Before continuing on, I want to go back and check that hole that we just passed at the end of the day yesterday. It just looked too fishy. There has to be fish there. <laughs> Not enough juice. Oh. No takers. I'm very surprised. We got my dry flies on this side. And then my wet flies on this side. The way I see it, I have two options. Based on the change of conditions, I can get a little more subtle or I can go another wacky color and try to go for that reaction bite. In Nova Scotia, typically early season, spin fishermen do better because they use MEPS with a, a worm and it creates a reactionary bite. So I think I'm gonna go somewhere similar to trigger re a reactionary strike. Go! Ooh, I think this is the biggest of the trip so far too. Definitely. Look at that. Beautiful fish. <laughs> biggest of the trip. Change tactics. We're on. That was such a subtle bite. And he was just in this foam line, which is interesting far away from where the main current is. I think we have a new tactic here, guys. Oh my good gracious. How does this even happen? Oh my Okay, I'm getting out of here just out of spite. There's probably a fish there, but I don't even care. Here's a great example of matching the hatch. This zuddler should look like a dying minnow. And based on this headless minnow here, it's probably the right size. Ooh. Oh, honey, look at that. Ooh, that's a good one, I think. I hooked up and broke the line. Oh man, oh man, I hate when that happens. That's a user error. Now that poor trout has a hook in his mouth. I got to a short portage, but well, I can't find it and it'd be a bushwhack. And I think I could just go down the river. Tight corner here. Uh, come around, boy. Yes, sir. Sure beats a portage. Ah, come on. Beautiful. Really nice day. 
stayed overcast, it didn't rain, and I was able to pull some of those larger brook trout out of the foam piles using that new technique, which is a larger zonker or a zuddler. But man, those first two days are what I dream of all winter long. Those April days where it's warm, about 15, 16 degrees sun, and at night it stays cold, when you can walk around in dry pants and t-shirt all day and just be happy as a clam. Anyways, I'm just getting to the last portage here. Just wanted to say thanks so much for joining me on this one. If you like the content, it would mean a lot to me if you guys subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss anything. And it helps me understand how the content's doing and how I can keep building it to make better quality content for you guys. Thanks so much for joining me on this one and I will see you on the next one. Until then.